Yep. That's trash. Playmakers. Okay. Out of my wrist, count of the spinning. Man at the coop, oh, mine with no tennis. Chop out the top, hit it in the I got some kids. What's up, y'all? Trey be dipping in the building. You know what time it is. I know it's been a while, and I know I keep saying I'm back, and then I disappear, and then I come back. But life, man, I'm not a full-time YouTuber. As much as I would like to be, and as much as I would like to put out videos as consistent as I want to, it's not that easy. But anyway, you're not here for that. You are here because it's new video time. You know what I'm saying? Hey! So look, before we really get all the way into the video, I need you to do one thing. One thing only. You only got one job, bro. Hit that like button. Hit it right now. Before you even finish watching the video, just hit the like button. All right, so let's uh, let's get this open. So there you have it. This is the non-ABS proportion valve. You see, well, I'll show you in a second when we actually look at the ABS, but the ABS that I have actually has six lines running to it, and this will replace it. Um, this actual one that I got is good because he actually left the fittings in there. Um, which is good because I don't have to go looking for them. Um, you, you are going to have to reflare, I believe, four of the valves. So, which brings me to my next thing. You will need a brake line kit. Um, they're not very expensive. I think I got this on Amazon for about 20 or 30 bucks, something like that. But basically, this reflare kit comes with everything in here. I've personally never used it, so you guys are going to be learning with me on how to use it. But more or less, um, this is the kit. Um, this is the cutter tool. These are the different size uh, flares. And I guess it's used in combination with this tool. We'll figure out how to use it. But you're definitely going to need this. And you're going to need the proportion valve to do the ABS delete. So let's go to the car and show you what's next. All right, so <clears throat> for those of you who don't know what I mean when I when I say ABS, obviously there's no motor in here, but this is the ABS unit. This whole thing is the ABS unit. Now you can see how bulky it is, so you can imagine why, you know, if you're trying to do like a cleaner setup, why you would want to get rid of it, because it definitely opens up a lot of space. Um, so there's a few things I want to point out before I start wrenching on it is again there's uh, six lines going into it four you can kind of see obviously um, there's one here here there and one right next to it right there and the other one that's not so obvious is right here and then the other one which I'm not 100% sure I'm gonna be able to get a good angle on but right here kind of way in the back if I can't see it with my finger I'll see if I can point it out with an arrow right there yep right there so there's six they're all a 10 millimeter um, you need a 10 millimeter wrench now it can get tricky when breaking these loose sometimes they're so rusted in there that a regular um, 10 millimeter wrench won't work you'll need like a I think they call it a crescent wrench which kind of has like an extra angle on it because if they're in there really tight they can strip so just keep that in mind I would uh, I mean if you don't have the tool like I said I actually already broke these loose with the regular 10 mil you won't always get that lucky so if you rather play it safe than sorry just go ahead and get that crescent wrench all of the plugs related to the ABS unit are orange so all of these orange plugs have to be unplugged there's actually one that goes way over here too I believe that's also related to somewhat to the ABS I might be wrong but I know all of these orange plugs on this side are all related to the ABS unit so you're gonna want to unplug these break those 10 millimeter brake line fittings loose and take them all the way out. I'm gonna do that and I'll come back and show you the next step. All 
Alright, so it was kind of like a little pain to get it out, a little bit of finessing. It would be easier if you take like the fuel filter bracket off. But um yeah, basically this is the uh this is the ABS unit. Um this is how it sits in the engine bay like this if you're looking at the engine bay from the front this is back exactly how it was sitting so two things you need to know um to release the bracket from the car there's a bolt there which is tucked behind like i said you'll be looking at it in the car like this so that one is kind of tucked behind in between the abs unit and the fuse box 12 millimeter you have another my bad you have another uh, 12 millimeter right there and there's one just like that on the back side right here let me see if I can set it down so I can get a good angle um, I don't know if you can see that or not right here um, the good thing about those uh, the ones on the bottom is that once you break them loose you don't have to take them all the way out you can see they have like slits in them so once you break it loose you actually kind of be able to like pull it up and out of place. I mean, if you can remove it completely, um, I would. Overall, it'll be easier. Um, I didn't get all that on foot on camera, but tell you one thing, I will get on camera. Yep, that's trash. And this little charcoal canister. Yep, that's trash too good riddance all right so I do have the old let me get in here real quick so just the one good thing about not having a motor you get the perfect position you can get right in this joint all right anyway I got the old ABS unit out obviously it was taking up this whole section and if I can get a little focus action this is the proportion valve now because some brake fluid has gotten on it, I actually did write on which line was which. You can see I have them labeled. Um, what I'll do is I'll put a diagram um, on the screen right now so you guys can see um, how I know you know which one's which. So essentially, um, yeah, essentially uh, that's how it's labeled. And it's actually labeled on the ABS unit, four of them are. The ones that I have labeled are labeled. Um, front right, rear left, uh, rear right, and front right, I think. No, front left, I'm sorry. Um, so I labeled those before I took it off. Um, that way I knew, and then the only ones that I didn't label were the other two, which um, those weren't labeled on the uh, on the um, ABS unit but on this unit this this fitting is larger than the other one this one is a smaller fitting and that's a larger fitting on this unit there's a larger opening and a smaller opening so I'm just gonna assume that that's how it goes this larger opening goes on the larger side and the smaller one goes on this side um, other than that man uh, basically so the front right and the rear right um, actually uh, are, are smaller fittings so you can actually use the OEM fittings that came on the prelude the difference is on the rear right or on the rear left and the front right um, those fittings are larger so these fittings came with the actual proportion valve so these are the ones that we're going to have to cut we're going to have to put these fittings on those two lines which is kind of where that kit comes into play Alright, so trying to do this and record at the same time is not going to be very easy. But when it comes to flaring the brake line tool, I wanted to do it first before I try to explain it. So basically, when you get the kit, this tool right here, you're actually going to fit this over the brake line. Um, the Honda brake line is going to be a 316th. I don't know if you guys can 
can see that or if it'll focus but it's a 3 16 um, now you're gonna want to make sure obviously you want to put the actual fitting on on the line first because once you flare it you can't get anything on it so put the fitting on first that's step one step two you want to fit the tool over the 3 16 and you're gonna want to tighten this up all right so yeah once you get the uh, piece on there you put the adapter piece on like this and then you're gonna take this tool I guess you can call it the actual flare tool kind of wiggle this on there like so and the brake line is set kind of high but you're basically gonna line up that spike inside of the little divot in the adapter um, once you do that that's step one you crank it all the way down so it's flat and it's flush then you would take this adapter piece off leave the brake line as it is then you basically put the spike back in that hole directly tighten it all the way down and then basically when you're done you'll have it flared in like so hopefully that's not too confusing but it, it seemed kind of complicated and then once I actually did it, it was pretty simple so alright so basically I got the new uh, proportion valve in and uh, looks pretty good man once you flare those two ends and you get them fitted in there um, like I said I'll post a diagram on what goes where from, from at least the information that I had but uh, I got the new proportion valve in there it's not sitting the way I wanted to sit I'll, I'll play with that later but for the most part it's in there man so definitely uh, one major thing off the checklist is done so now that little proportion valve replaced that big all that that whole ABS unit that was taking up all that space so since this car will never have ABS again I will be going through and I'm literally gonna snip those orange connectors far back into the firewall as possible so that they're out of the way and not an eyesore anymore so there you have it man that's pretty much it for this video um, I know it wasn't like a full step-by-step -step, like in-depth tutorial that's not really kind of what I was going for I just more or less kind of wanted to uh, show you guys the basics and I probably actually went beyond the basics but just not full tutorial but anyway hit that like button and yeah you see that right there go ahead and hit that that's the subscribe button and I'll see you guys on the next one Okay. All the marvelous, kind of spin it, mad at the coupe, mama no tennis, chop out the top, hit it the limit, I got some